What is going on, niche gaming enthusiasts? Michael Jordan here with... Brandon Orselli. And Cody Gully. And we are going to be talking a little bit about our experience with Nino Kuni 2. I am a massive Nino Kuni fan. And uh, I really apparently suck at the game as well, and you'll find out why later on. But uh, we got some great footage of us playing the game as well as a little bit of an exclusive here. We actually were one of the few groups that was able to get direct feed capture, and we're going to be splicing that in with the actual gameplay so you can see us playing it as well as actually the footage on the screen. Later on in the week, we will be releasing the full footage as per capita with things like this. But uh, we want to really show you kind of the, the back and forth aspect of the game. And uh, yeah, I mean, for one, got to know all you guys, how good does this look? Dude, the, oh, yeah. God, I mean, this looks wonderful. The, the game is gorgeous. I mean, you know, it, it definitely um, evokes that kind of Studio Ghibli style. I mean, obviously that's what they're going after, I think. And I mean, I was just like, blown away by it. Um, it's gorgeous. Not just the uh, not just the style. This game is uh, like has tons of uh, main co uh, core guys from uh, from the Ghibli Studios, like uh, Joey uh, Hisashi, which is the music comp composer, which is part of uh, has been part of uh, several core uh, Ghibli movies. And we've also got mm -hmm. uh, the Kiki's uh, Delivery Service was definitely one of the ones that like stood out to me for for one of his things. Um, one thing that is to, to crazy now, though, we have to get right into is you're seeing my gameplay because I played it first and I, I kind of really didn't get totally what you're supposed to do with a lot of the stuff. Um, your skills are heavily based on these little spirit guys. I forgot the, the names. Higgle uh, Higgledies. Higgledies. So the, the Higgledies have this about, uh, like, if you walk over toward them and you charge up a skill you actually gain whatever points from that that skill to kind of like alter what it is so like let's say you have a, a traditional fire attack you can actually walk over the water higgledies and they will change that attack to being a water attack and or the range attack or whatever it is yeah. um there's a lot of really like cool intricacies that they added into this and even though that i'm getting my ass severely stomped uh, I, I hope you can kind of see me learning from kind of the first playthrough without really a lot of knowledge because obviously we talked about this a little before in one of our other videos. Um, we really didn't get a very good introduction into the gameplay at all because of certain situations that happened in E3. We fucking normies! But yeah, so uh, there were some <laughs> things like that yeah. that, that yeah. ended up happening, but we, we did manage to um, actually get some really good, like, behind the scenes sort of gameplay and stuff. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it with that. Uh, what, do, what do you guys feel like? We're, we're missing out on that, um, specifically on this aspect, because well, we got to talk about things that are not going to be shown here in this gameplay, specifically. Well, honestly, what I, I thought was uh, pretty important was just how integral these uh, Higgledies actually are. Um, you you got to look that uh, there's like 25 of these guys that might be on stage. you got no, uh, the... The core elements, uh, fire, water, wind. Well, twenty. Uh, it's like twenty from the demo. It's capital no, it's, twenty. No, uh, well, it's 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 they, five, 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 five. Oh, at the beginning of the fight, I yeah. I think you might uh, see more later on, but like, uh, what they what they do is, uh, and you see that uh, the ring around them right now. Um, if you press like the X button when you're in that ring you gain, like, a uh, stat boost. Like, uh, you get more defense, or you might uh, launch one of the uh, healing, uh, area healing, so that all of your guys and you get healed. Yeah, super important right there. And um, for me, because I really didn't have any uh, idea going into it, I really only was like, oh, wait, there was, like, some sequence you had to do or something. Like, they were really vague about it, but then I was learning through... And that's actually a testament to the game design. Like, I was already learning that through my first battle. Even though I failed, it was able to go like, Oh, dude, you could do this. Oh, you could do this. Oh, you Like, it does do a, a really great job of, like, leading you up into this gameplay. And it is beautiful. I mean, that, God, I mean, you're looking at it right now. 
and this stuff is just it, it blew me away and especially as a fan of the the artwork and the style and kind of the the, the feel of combat and stuff it was just really great uh, for me personally to experience and not just not just that but this 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 enemy that you're fight, uh, we're fighting right now is like 15 levels over what uh, what you're at like double your level so it's showing that even though it looks bad you can do it with the help of these little uh, these little sprites. Well, you're gonna yeah. have to. That was a big thing. Yes. That's yeah. what we're telling you. Have to. Yeah. You absolutely have to. So, yeah. how about your experience with that, though? Yeah, I mean, th this is obviously it's clearly just a, a pure boss fight. So, um, I mean, there's so much more to the game that we haven't really touched at all. You know, um, I mean, there's some stuff that wasn't shown at all outside of behind closed doors sorts of things. Um, I mean, this is a fully fledged RPG, and it's not connected to the original game at all. So story wise, um, so you can jump into this without playing the first game at all, and you can just totally enjoy it. It's well, we we don't want to say that for definite though, because we did have slight hints that like people who who really spent a lot of time in the original Nino Kuni game it was like ah okay. There's, there's, there's a little bit of world connecting and things like that with the, yeah. in, in the series. That's so, true. So don't don't think that it's totally detached yeah. and, and like a separate world because it, it definitely isn't. It is in the same kind of spectrum. Yeah. But um, the, the real focus, though, is to, to create new characters that have new experiences and can bring new life into it. And that was yeah. like a really big push for them. Um, can we talk about the, uh, the city building stuff? So, I, I believe so. I, I believe that's totally cool that we can. Uh, oh right, yeah, it's, yeah. it's on the embargo. It's right. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, um, no, no, I, I don't think no, it's on no, no, embargo. Oh yeah, I don't, I don't think. Yeah, I don't think it is. No. Um. Okay. All so the new 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 stuff is okay. Okay. So, uh, we're not under any embargo for that. But one of the things that you get to see kind of behind closed doors is aspects of the city building pulling in villagers from different areas and actually understanding as the cop is just boy how many homeless people just got stabbed oh my god la what are you doing to me uh you, 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 la you're gonna give me a heart attack okay <laughs> you're gonna you're gonna get pull my heart attack uh but one of the really interesting things that kind of i think sets us apart from a lot of other rpgs is just how involved this new city building system is because you're basically a super young king who just gets ripped from his own kingdom and, and it has a, a story of betrayal and, and distrust and you have a, a character who's like, dude, fucking everybody's out to get me. And you have to go and make your own kingdom as a kid and all the things that come out from that and it's just, th th that aspect to me is... It really hits home for the Nino Kuni series because if you guys remember, if you if you're fans of the original game, it has a lot of these lighthearted elements, and it fucking throws you off with some shit that will put Final Fantasy the shame on that fucking dark path. You're <laughs> like, oh my god, like, and and it's the fact that everything is riding so high on these these happy elements. That when you hit that dose of reality, like, oh my god, this dude wants to I kill mean, you, he wants to run the fucking kingdom, and you have no place in that world, and he wants to make sure you're gone quick, ooh, that's gonna hit you, so. I mean, I'm really curious to see how many characters you can recruit, right, because obviously I'm a huge sweet And there I died, sorry, just want to say that right now. <laughs> this was me failing, uh, because he just, because we were talking, and then I looked away for one second, and then I got blasted. And I should have been paying attention and using my skills a little bit better. But uh, that's Big what happens when you don't block. No, I did block, and and, really? and I yeah, I blocked and dodged, but I couldn't get out of the. the Who's this? The uh, this handsome uh, fella stepping up to play so, the game right now. So, I mean, so this I, goddamn uh, greasy dago who's fucking <laughs> rolling up here to go beat my ass on this thing. Uh, so he's he's showing up, and and obviously it's going to be a little bit better of a playthrough. Yeah. Um, from, from so here's actually one thing we should talk about before we go into more city building. Yeah. What did you learn from watching me play that? So um, I, I think the biggest thing was that I saw Michael. Um, I was watching him. Uh, obviously, that 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 demo is p 
purely a boss battle, right? So you're thrown into the boss battle right from the get-go, and you're not really shown, you know, how to play the game. So if you even even played the game before, you know, you're kind of not quite sure, you know, how it's going to pan out, you know, um, and you're not sure how the bo how the boss is going to really behave, things like that. So, um, so on top of learning the game, if you haven't played it before, you're you're fighting a boss too, right? So it's it's kind of challenging. So um, there's a lot of factors there. So I was watching Michael, watching what he was doing, um, watching how the battle panned out, watching what the boss did, you know. Um, and there's different things that you can you can you can pick away from it, right? Because like an example, like this boss, if you attack its claws, if you manage to destroy its talons on one of its paws, its face will you know it'll get like incapacitated, it'll fall forward, and you can just wail at it for like a good minute or so, right? And you'll see that. Um, at some point in my playthrough, I think Michael got it too. Um, but there's a lot of little things that you can do. You know, you can keep healing yourself. Um, when he shoots the giant lava shards at you, if you destroy them, you get mana back. Um, Something I didn't realize. That was one yeah. thing I was like, oh shit, I thought it was like out of maybe one or two I got lucky or something. Yeah. But it's actually all of them. So yeah. uh, one of the things that, that really fucked me over at the end was like, I getting mana back. I was like, oh yeah. shit. So, yeah. Yeah, cause, yeah, that was a biggie. Like, I I was doing pretty good, I think, uh, destroying them and getting mana back. But then towards the end... I was like totally screwed, and then I was, <laughs> was kind of like struggling to to, to whittle the last bit of HP uh, out of him, you know. And I think I I got lucky um, destroying his his other his second paw at a certain point, and I just started wailing on him, you know, for a while. So um, I mean, the game just looks gorgeous, though. Like it, it, I I feel like the the recording that we have, even that doesn't do justice. Like you have to see it. And play it. It it is a little bit downscaled for uh, most of the people who are watching at home, um, just because of YouTube does some downscaling, and, and we're kind of adjusting to see what you guys are seeing before we're recording this to make sure it's kind of accurate to give you an idea of like oh how we're seeing it versus the impressions and whatnot. Um, but it, it just looks fucking amazing, dude. Yeah. Like like in person, you're watching this, and it's just, it's so crisp. Yeah. And they weren't even using really great monitors yeah. at the booth. <laughs> well another thing but uh so anyway <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we, we kind of all just went yeah um yeah. but it, it just looks so good and uh i i feel like i don't know man i i feel like this game hasn't got enough uh like recognition for, yeah. for like we because we kind of heard about it some stuff before yeah. but it's not really been you know showcases it's um fun. this looks great dude it's a shame because it's it's a story driven Japanese RPG, right? Which they're they're rare these days. They're very rare, especially at, at this level of quality. You know, you have basically top tier at Bandai Namco cooperations and, and, with fucking level yeah, five too, and, well. and and level five staff, right? Um, you have Joe Saishi from Studio Ghibli making the music. Um, you have the one of the main character designers from Studio Ghibli. I forget. I forget. Uh, Yoshiyuki uh, Mamose. Uh, there we go. And he's worked on a, a, on a number of Studio Ghibli games. So it's basically a Studio Ghibli video game, right? Like, it's unofficially oh, yeah. a Studio Ghibli video game. It's gorgeous. I think we, we all had a lot of fun with it. And um, and I think its biggest problem is that it's, it's Nino Kuni 2. People see that and they're like, Oh, well, it's a Japanese RPG. Do I have to play the first one? And it's like, well, it doesn't seem like you have to... They, um, what, you know what happened? Yeah. They didn't market it enough like Final Fantasy. Yeah. If they marketed yeah. it in the same style of, yeah. or maybe said, like, it's in a universe and things have happened, but, yeah. they, you know, it, it did one of those things, it would have been a little bit better, but I, I do feel like, um, even the way that they presented it to us, yeah. they were, like, really trying to kind of, like, be like, oh, the things you love about that, you're going to have it here, but it's like, but is it going to tie in officially? They did like little hints and stuff yeah. like that. And it's like, oh, well, you would only know those references if you played the original. So it's not really there. It's not going to affect it. But they, I think they put too much focus in it. Yeah, see, there, right there, you broke the claws and you're just fucking his face up. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. So, Cody, how about you, man? 
you did really well in it. You did it right off the bat without even watching anybody. Oh, yeah. I, th- I, I should have been recording you instead of me, man. Uh, then you would have claimed the credit for it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I would never ah, do something. Yeah, I know, I know. Uh, but, no, I think that the... Uh, honestly, the... I, what the thing I got the most uh, was impressed with was the Higgledies. You got uh, these are su- uh, super important to understand where they are, and it's the reason why you, you have to pull. Uh, they pull the screen back a little bit just so you can see where each group is. I noticed that. Yeah, and, that was and, a big like, thing. That's you have true. to have a keen awareness of the entire field of battle in order to do well. Because if you don't understand what you're seeing or where you are, you're gonna really die quick. Yeah. So and so one thing though, I, I think I think before you go into this battle that it's before this and, and it was one of the things that they touched on in us privately was the fact that you can like set a defensive spell. Yeah. But we had no defensive spells fucking set in this game but heal, which was totally a fucking handicap. Like, it's like they wanted you to fail while we were playing this demo yeah. and, and really rely on these guys. But it was very interesting because it's like, that's kind of a thing. You, you know you're going to be able to, to customize that stuff. Another, uh, uh, not, I, I'm sorry to break away for a little bit, but thi- uh, this uh, this guy right here. Oh, wow. Um this, uh, this thing that's going on right now, I think, is like a fire protection. Yeah. Like, he can uh, do fire attacks on you at all times, like that fire, uh, that big fire blast. You get in that, uh, the little cir- uh, that red circle, you wouldn't have gotten uh, hurt at all. That's how, how you got away from that. Yeah, and if you man... And, and if you, you, you can actually, uh, you can kind that. of maintain it, too. Yeah. There's certain ways to, like, if you're, you're... Yeah, like, see right there, like, you kind of doubled down on it right there. They kind of went away, but you brought them back up. Um, and, and see, he, he's totally not taking any damage right there. Yeah. And... I also really like the char- uh, charge aspect on the uh, long uh, the long range attack, where if you hold uh, hold it down for a little bit, I think the uh, spe- uh, the spell wheel yep. gets much larger. Oh yeah, here here's uh here's the final push. Like we were all sitting there behind him, just going like, go go, you got this, beat him in the face, <laughs> beat him in the fucking face, you fucking shit up. <laughs> yeah. It yeah. was it was great. It was like it, it's great to see, and it, it's like uh, one of those things that. It, there's so much style, and there's so much, like, you can get behind yeah. that it feels good, like, when you're championing somebody when they're playing into it. So, um, yeah, we got a little bit of this end thing here, but uh, let's, w- while we're doing this, because we, we kind of are almost coming to the end of the, the impressions and stuff, uh, let's quickly talk about the city building and stuff like that. One of the, uh, I'll run through the aspects. One of the things that, it, it, this stood out to me a lot, because I know a lot of people actually come and tell me, hey, I want this aspect in the RPG. You basically get thrust out of your kingdom by some dickhole rat, and then you have to make a whole new kingdom by pulling different people in, and you get the added bonus of having little battles and skirmishes that are like RTS-style things that you get to do, but they also have this whole resource-gathering system that adds into certain things with attack and what you need and what you get and what you could do for other things. And some crafting elements, I do know that they yeah. talked about a whole crafting element thing like that. And it was just so dope, dude. I, I'm so excited for this. I know a lot of other people, too. Like, I know Amy, who's who's just joined our network, has been begging for a game like this. And this is like, boom. This is everything that she said she wanted yeah. in a fucking game. And that, that, that brings in a whole new element of player. And I think yeah. that that's going to be a thing. And guys, please... The one thing, don't do this, okay? I know it's level five. I know that the whole concept news went up, and that's been fucking <laughs> all <laughs> over our shit. Yeah, I know. It's, do it's, not, yeah. please, for the love of God, if you give any two fucks about any of us, do not fucking jinx that shit for us. Mm. Don't grab that monkey pie, okay, boys? Just settle down, pull it a little <laughs> bit back, pull a bit, a little bit back, please. Um, Final thoughts on any of those things before we uh, close out? I think the game is incredibly promising. Uh, it's actually it's really interesting that they, they they showed like a little bit of the city building to us behind closed doors, 
and they haven't shown it to the public at all. So that's like a huge friggin' thing in the game, and they haven't shown it. Like, so like they're like, yeah, like they're they're that confident in my opinion of the game that they haven't shown like a huge part of the game that's gonna sell. Well, that got us excited too. So yeah. that was like, oh yeah, dude, yeah. like that's fucking yeah. dope. So. so, I think the game's gonna make you use your head a lot in battle. In each battle, have a uh, you you need to pay attention and focus. And you can't just oh use the sa- use the same attack over and over and over again to get the same same results. You but- kind of did that in Nino Kuni in the original if you wanted to. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So if you, yeah, yeah, I I, I, I think you're 100 percent correct. I think that you're you're spot on with that. You're you're gonna have to use your head a little bit more than you would have to do in Nino Kuni, the original one. So yeah. All right. Anything else? Uh no uh. That's ma- that was mainly it. I think I think this game is going to be a fantastic game. I'm really actually looking forward to it. <laughs> you know what's fucking fucked up? What? To be what? real for everybody, okay? What's for up? real. Bandai fucking knocked it out of the park with these cuz we got fighters and we got fucking Ninokuni. Like you can't yeah. Yeah. I, I it's a little weird to say, but I think like they they pulled a little sleeper in there. You know, came yeah. around. You didn't see it like John Cena, and they fucking put you in a chokehold, and you know what I mean? Because yeah. it was we a little didn't, weird. We didn't see it. The the, the thing uh, blew out. Well, we well we got to see it <laughs> after. Eventually. Yeah, yeah. We, <laughs> uh, but uh, it, it's it's actually pretty interesting to see to see that strong of a showing from from Bandai. So I think that's also another thing worth you know a little bit worth noting is that Bandai actually came through in a way that we haven't. Seeing Bandai come through. Yeah. I mean, not since the fucking pre two thousands. Yeah, Bandai is a a major major publisher. You know, they have a lot of clout, and they have a lot of really cool things coming. So, um, yeah, it's finally yeah. it's finally good to actually see them use that clout and use that power to publish yeah. some fucking good shit. Yeah, yeah, so. a lot of money. Yeah, yeah. Long time coming, boys. It's, it's a, but it's good to see. Yeah. Uh-huh. I think it's. A, I, I yeah. think it's a return. Now I want a really fully functional Power Rangers game. That that does <laughs> a lot to it. <laughs> oh god. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for listening, watching, sticking around with us. This thing is almost thirty minutes. This is gonna be massive. Uh, thank you so much for for taking the time. I'm Michael Jordan. I'm Brandon Arcelli. I'm Cody Gully. And we just did a hot take on... Well, that, man, that's not even a hot take. That's a long take. A that's fucking... Yeah. Hootie 2! Yeah. God damn, that was good. <laughs> it was a good game. <laughs>